Welcome to this quick guide to JavaScript variable types, including numbers, strings, booleans, objects, arrays, and functions. Let's open the browser console and begin. We'll start with numbers, which can either be whole or decimal. You can add to, subtract from, multiply, or divide a number. Sometimes you'll see a variable name followed by plus plus, which means to increment the variable by one. Another important variable type in JavaScript is the string. A string is a sequence of characters. String variables have a property of length, which is the number of characters in the string. Strings support functions substring, index of, to lowercase, and to uppercase. A special variable type in JavaScript is Boolean. A boolean is either true or false. An exclamation point in front of a boolean returns the complement, aka opposite, boolean value. Let's look at a very powerful way to represent data in JavaScript. The object. Objects consist of key value pairs where keys are string phrases and values can be any other type, a string, a number, an object, a boolean, an array, etc. Object property values can be accessed with the object name dot property name, or alternatively, the object name followed by the property name string in square brackets. Lists in JavaScript are called arrays. Arrays are ordered element lists where elements can be values of any type. Array elements can be accessed with the variable name followed by the element index integer in square brackets. We can get the type of a variable using the type of operator followed by the variable name. The result is a string such as number, string, boolean, object, function, or undefined. Undefined means the variable has not yet been initialized. Finally, let's look at JavaScript functions. This is one syntax for defining a function's logic for use elsewhere in the program. The function is given a name and the parameters it accepts are enumerated and named for use within the function. A function can be stored as a variable or passed as a parameter to a function to be executed later as appropriate. These types of functions that are passed to a function to be executed later are sometimes termed callback functions. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Love Tech Live. If this video was helpful, click that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. Check out the description box of this video or just go to lovetech.io for more plugins and tutorials.